here, okay guys? Everything crashed earlier, which is okay. Um, Mr. Ballion here. I'm going to start this. Um, it's a new series. You guys know I'm in the architectural unit now. Uh, the first activity, which I haven't pointed here, starts with your bedroom. Uh, basically, we sketched our bedroom, and we're going to actually recreate it in an architectural application. Okay, and so that's where we're at. Um, let's do this. Okay, so let's hope this isn't going to crash. The third, that's a different app I'm using. Okay, we're going to start ArchiCAD, and um, here's the icon. Uh, click on it. I used to use this in industry. My first uh, license was seven thousand. Um, plus and then the second and then the subsequent license were about five grand each so here you go you have to just click on this text to basically get going okay we're gonna start with a new project all right and we're gonna use a residential template not the commercial one okay we're gonna come down here and then you're just gonna press new all right so give it a second or two kick in this app is really fantastic because it works on a Windows platform and a Mac platform I wish more companies would do that just like Autodesk Maya Okay, hopefully, um, this is uh, this series is going to be very similar to my Revit ones, okay? So we're going to start with a simple room. You're going to have fun. We're going to go from there. In all my lessons, we always go we use uh, tools. We don't learn the software. What tools do we need to get to the end result? Okay, so wall, door, window, and slab. That's what we're going to use today, as well as uh, an object, which means bringing in the library parts. Cool. As well, notice over here, this is a plan view. So basically, you're in 2D. Uh, sorry, we're in the floor plan view and you hover over a button and you can see that uh, the hotkey kicks in just like Photoshop okay um, 3d is here so these two and we're also going to pay attention to the layering system over here uh, floor plan first floor and then roof um, and then for 3d uh, our shots are going to come down here all right so these are your elevation markers notice elevation there okay not bad uh, we're going we're going to zoom in and out using our middle scroll button ideally please work in the center don't go out there right here just stay in the center okay so we're going to click wall and i'm going to double click it all right and what we're going to do again this is for fun nothing too accurate we're going to come into favorites and use a brick wall with concrete masonry uh, structure in it okay we're going to say apply and the other thing uh, ArchiCAD is asking you, do you want us to go to the roof? Right now, I don't really care. I'm going to keep this not linked. And for now, let's change this to 12 feet, okay, for fun. So the height of your wall is 12 feet. Eventually, guys, we're going to come in here and change the materials as well, okay? So this is super introductory. We're going to have fun. So what I'm going to do is click once into the space, and then I'm going to hover to the left. Notice the spider web kicks in, which means uh, keeping it aligned. That's like in Photoshop. If you hold shift, you hold shift, it stays on that axes okay so right now I'm just gonna type in uh, let's say 26 okay it doesn't matter the number you type in you don't have to follow you know what I'm doing here so I'm gonna come down this way hold shift if you like and type in a new number so I'm gonna type, type in 22 not matter at this point all I'm gonna do is right click hold that down and boom press OK all right so here we are I'm gonna hold the middle scroll button down so this is panning zooming panning okay good to go so thick wall for the exterior wall just like Photoshop guys Whenever you're done a tool, go to the arrow tool. Okay, whenever you're done with it, get out, get out, get out, get out. So at this point, I'm going to select wall, um, click in here once, or double click there, it takes you to settings, which is cool. So again, favorites. This time I'm going to use the 2x4 wood stud interior wall. Okay, and, uh, we'll leave it at 10 feet, and no, it's not going to the roof, not linked. All right, press OK. Somewhere over here. Again, this is for fun. Click once, come on down. And it's telling you right now it's about 19 feet. So let's say it's 17. I'm just typing a random number. I'm coming this way. And I'm going to kick over here. Spin around. Hold. Uh, move your mouse meaning. And then go down to OK. Done. All right. I want a closet in here. So again, I'm just not going to. I'm in the tool. ArchiCAD knows which tool you're using and what all the settings are. So I'm just going to click in here this way. And notice, oh, three foot six. Who cares? Just over three feet. Come on down this way click and right click press OK all right so here we are we created a bunch of walls interior walls I guess I need to get into the space once I finish a tool press arrow done all right let's go to door and double click double click I said there it is and we're gonna pick a door all right so this door here right there the opening swing you can see it in 2d view 3d view shaded view and so on okay I like this view and notice that some of these will tell you more so unless you're in a restaurant there's no double swing for me here at this point I'll stick to the simple one notice that is three feet wide six foot eight 
Okay, so this is correct. It's residential. It's cool. Um, uh, the height of this door. All good. Don't want to get too technical. It's going to come in here and I'm going to click once and I'm going to just spin and just hover my mouse. Notice what it's doing. Swing that way. Nope. Inside wall. Click. You're done. D01 for door. Double click on door again. Here we go. And we're going to have two door, uh, basically a closet, right? So look at this. Swings once. Okay. So if you come down here, double egress, it means like swing this way, that way. It means both directional. Okay. And double acting. We certainly don't want that. Okay. So again, so keep it simple. Come on up here. And this one says it only swings out. Perfect. Press OK. Again, the opening is five. I can make that more, depending. No worries. Okay, click in here. And let's let me pop in maybe two of these. One. And swing out. Come over here. And swing out. Done. What I'll do right now is go to wall. And I'll try to pick a wall here. And ideally what I want to do is pick the center of this. Okay, the center is really there. It knows. So there it is, right? Click right click press ok so i need to maneuver a couple things around if that's this is this doesn't look too accurate in terms of what's going on here so i'm just going to click once click here hold shift down arrow touch okay just leave it at that we'll make this more accurate in the future get out come out here okay so click out okay zooming in at this point and what i'll do right now um, let's just uh, pop in some windows okay place some windows window double click once comes up Pick any of these windows, okay? I'm just going to pick a single one, super simple, okay? And what is it? Uh, two foot six wide, uh, five feet tall, runs around seven feet height, just like our one point into your perspective drawing. Just what I said to you guys. We'll just our markers will be seven feet. So check it out. Click once, openings on the that way. There we go. Like the sill comes out to there. Again, click, hover your mouse so it's on the outside here. Boom. And again, one more by my closet. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, out. So notice window one, two, three, four, door one, two, three. So this is all real world information. Okay, you can just basically take this information, and find a contract, say I need five, four windows in this type, I need two doors this type, and one this way. So this is all real world information. Lastly, let's just add a slab. Okay, so we're going to click once here or double click there. No worries. And we're going to quickly run into favorites. Attic, built up roof, all that business. So let's just go to wood floor, wood, wood joist. Okay, apply. However, this time around, we're going to pop one more here. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and pick, instead of carpet, wood finish. Ooh, concrete slab, perhaps, or 2 by 10 mm, What do we got? What do we got going here? Concrete slab. Yeah, we'll definitely get into this more in the future, but for now, it's the wood finish. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Notice now, uh, it's a rectangle tool. It's not a polygonal tool. So meaning if you had an irregular room, I would pick that one. But for now, simple. From this corner, come on out a bit. And whoa, what's going on here? Oh, man, that wall is way off. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, arrow. And you? I'm not going to rotate this, okay? Oh, boy. Let's do that. Just a quick click. Oh, my goodness. Just delete, Valiant. Let's go. Come to wall quickly. That was Trey Bizarre. Just because I, I wasn't holding shift, okay? So we'll come in from here, and we're going to hold shift. Come on down, okay? And then right-click, press OK. Done. All right, there it is. Nice to see mistakes, guys, because that way we can fix them. Remember the last window, okay? So click once, boom, and one more here. Awesome. Out. All right, so this is done. Let's take a peek how this thing looks like in 3D. Ideally, you should have saved by now, okay? So this is a floor plan. Watch this. If I press F3 or that icon, you will see this model. Beautiful. Loving this. Look how clear and crisp this is. This is I'm just holding middle scroll to pan, holding shift and middle scroll down to orbit around. This is beautiful. Okay, you can even go through the window basically. That's awesome. One more, one more. Boom. I'm zooming in. Okay, that's enough. All right, so back to F2 or uh, this icon here arrow tool let's go to the fun area okay we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go get some objects okay double click what do we want I want a bed notice that this is your library of materials you can spend all the time you want in here right now guys so this is quick and simple tutorial so type in bed BED boom see what comes up I'm just gonna take this one notice that there's an X which is the drop point right so watch this if I want my bed to go aligned with this wall to be placed here 
the X marks the spot needs to be somewhere over here, anywhere on here would work. So notice what I'm going to do here. Watch and press OK first, of course, and come over here and boom, it's placed right there. So I'm going to double click here again. This time we'll go to fireplace. Let's try that. Fireplace. See what comes up. All right. This is very traditional. Okay, we'll go something a little more modern. Uh, doesn't matter. Any one of these will do fine. Okay. Uh, double access. That would be cool in the kitchen or dining room. That would be really cool. Maybe down the road on your next assignment. Okay. So built-in fireplace coming in. Notice where the place, uh, the marker is right here. So I want it to go on this wall. So first off, I'm going to hover my mouse somewhere in here and click, 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 click. And so it rotates. Okay. So now it's, it's, it's in the right direction up and down here but I want the drop point to be there. So X marks the spot there. So I'm just going to come in here, place it, done. Next, uh, double click on object and this time, okay, uh, I'm going to type in desk and you'll see it right there. Okay, there's a desk, ooh, not that great looking. Ah, it's okay. I have no idea where the front or back is on this. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate it right at this point. Boom, boom. So let's hope this is the right direction. If not, we'll have to rotate it. Okay, press okay and bring it in here okay against this wall okay and now i'm going to go to arrow tool select it click once with the magnetic tool there wrong one and hover come on do me a favor here okay you're being cantankerous here all right we'll move away um and yes we did select it so i'm going to hold shift boom 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 see what you can do shift uh, right arrow left arrow even up down you have controls that way. Okay, so I'm just going to align it with the bed, whatever. doesn't really matter, guys. This is just for fun. Come back to object. This time I'm going to type in chair. Okay, see what comes up. All right, here we go. Wow, we have a Frank Gehry chair there. We have a Corbu chaise longue there. There's a lot of good stuff here. All right, so I'm just going to pick something funky here. Oh, wow, even Mies is in there. Okay, everybody's in here. This is fantastic. This blows away the Revit library. Okay, so we're going to come in here and notice that uh, oh, it's front direction is good. The back is there. Uh, wow, you can even have this one Ooh, on wheels. That would be kind of cool in the bedroom, eh? All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, oh here's what happened. This is interesting. I had, um, I'm going to press Command Z. I had the library part selected, okay? So when you do select something and go in, you can actually swap them. So at this point, I don't want to swap. I need to go back to object mode. I did press Command Z to come up here press chair return enter and then uh, let's take this one again take the one with the wheels okay cool press okay and now bring it in all right good to go all right this is all right so what I'll do right now is I'm not going to come in here and just try to spin around figure out where I am it takes too long okay this is cool nothing wrong with this process okay people but what I want to do is place the camera just like we do in Revit okay it's under more more and camera all right and all you do is you just click once and point in a direction usually you try to hit 45 on an angle or straight on if you're more interested i'm not so there's my camera i need to get out okay and look around here on the 3d there's something untitled so if we just click once come in here here's my shot i'm gonna hold my middle scroll button down and change my pov my point of view and spin around a bit i like that Ooh, that wall could have been 12 feet okay it's not it doesn't matter uh -huh. <laughs> anyway it's all good this is fun all right so what i'm going to do right now just simply at this point and i'm holding shift um, and middle scroll button down and i'm orbiting this is good enough okay so i'll just leave it like this and i go to documents here's where we're, uh, this tutorial and create creative imaging photo render projection all right so let's check it out oops i lost it um it's under here somewhere so I'm just going to double click again. It, the, the view is here. It's probably rendering right now in the back view. I don't want to close things. I'm just going to lazy belly in here. Here we go. So let's see how this looks. Watch how fast this is rendering. It's unbelievable. And the accuracy, it's unbelievable. I'm very impressed. This is really cool. Uh, I used to use Artlantis when I was running my design studio. Uh, at this point, we don't need it. You have this. It's rocking. The shot looks fantastic. Hello. Just at the end of our recording here. So this is what, uh, no worries, it's almost done. Uh, finito. So I'm ending it right here. So what's really amazing about this is the minute I press X here, Archicad is going to ask me, do you want to save this? 
absolutely. I do want to save it. And it's in JPEG. We'll get this into it. So I'm going to say 4, save it. And at this point, I want to end off by saying thank you for watching. Valiant out. Talk to you guys later. All right. Many more to come. Bye-bye.